into RPB resonance chemistry. Now, today our topic is IOPSC nomenclature of coordination compounds or complex compounds. So, which is very useful to identify the a complex. So, I'll give the very simple and very tricky manner to write the IOPSC nomenclature rules. According to IOPSC nomenclature, the first rule is in generally, IUPAC suggests that if a, comp if a complex or salt having the like a cation and anion, cation comes first followed by the anion. Cation comes first followed by the followed by the anion. Cation comes first followed by the anion. Now, generally, complexes <laughs> appears like four types. Complexes appears uh, four types. One is Cation, anion, like a cation and anion. Both cation and anion present as a complex. Fourth one is neutral complex. We don't need to neutral complex. If neutral complex is present, the write the IUPAC nomenclature as usually. Now, but in case of cation, anion, both complex having the cation and anions. Now, the first rule according to this. The example is cobalt NH3 six times Cl3. FeCN six times K4. Platinum pyridine four times. Uh, platinum Cl four times. Now nickel and CO four times. Let us assume when those complexes are hydrolyzed. Now we will get uh, cobalt NH3 six times plus three three Cl minus four K plus. Fe Cn6 minus Cn6 minus 4. Plati platinum pyridine 4 times plus 2. Platinum Cl 4 times. Platinum Cl 4 times minus 2. So which is a neutral compound, the nomenclature of neutral compound as usually. But in the in these in these three cases, according to first rule, the cation comes first followed by the anion. The cation comes first followed by the anion. In case here, coordination sphere first followed by the simple ion, but in case simple ion first followed by the complex ion or co coordination sphere. In these two cases, in these in these cases, both complexes like cation and anion are complexes. That's why the cationic complexes write the first followed by the anionic complexes. So this is the first rule about uh, coordination IUPAC rules. Now the second rule. Second rule, in case inner coordination sphere, in case inner coordination sphere. So, in generally, coordination sphere provided metal first followed by the ligand. In general representation, a complex provided metal first followed by the ligand. But in case of IUPAC nomenclature, in inner coordination sphere, ligand first followed by metal. So listen carefully, ligand first followed by metal in case of IUPAC nomenclature. In representation, metal first, ligand next, but uh, in case of IUPAC nomenclature, ligand first followed by the metal. Now, the third rule, third rule regarding to the ligand, third rule regarding to the ligand, according to ligands, uh, nomenclature of ligands. So, we subclassified the small 1, small 2, small 3, small 4 like that. Now, first, first in third is, if ligand present as a multiples, if similar ligand present as a multiples, now we used the prefixes like, uh, if, two, if ligand present as two times, then it is called di, three times, tri, four times, tetra, five times, penta, six times, hexa, seven times, Octa, 8 times octa, 9 times nona, 10 times deca. So, in case if ligand present as multiples, we use the prefixes like uh, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, deca, etc. In, in, this is the first rule in ligands. Now, the second rule about uh, ligands. If 
heteroleptic heteroleptic complexes are present if heteroleptic complexes that means a, a complex having two different types more than one different type of ligand not only two more than one type of different uh, ligands are present then it's said to be heteroleptic complexes then it's said to be heteroleptic complexes in case of such type of heteroleptic complexes ligand nomenclature follows their alphabetical order follows their alphabetical order here follows their alphabetical order the ligand name not uh, prefixes well, iupac uh, alphabetical order not the prefix iupac order here alphabetical order of ligand names only not the not their prefixes so be careful it not their prefixes here the ligand nomenclature alphabetical order chosen by the ligand name only not the prefixes this is the second rule now the third rule about uh, ligands is the third rule about ligands is if ligand already having the such type of prefixes if ligand no, ligand name itself it having the such type of prefixes or it is it is complicated to explain the to pronounce the name now we used the other other prefixes like 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 di tri tetra penta hexa hepta Atta. Now we used, we suggest that we you added the just name is like this, tris, tetrakis, pentakis, okay, like a tris, uh, 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 this, tris, tetrakis, pentakis, hexakis, heptakis, octakis, nonakis, decakis, like that. So if ligand already having the prefixes like uh, di, tri or it is complicated so we use the second row second, pre second prefixes second type of prefixes for example cobalt ethylene diamond three times Cl3 so here ethylene the nomenclature of ethylene diamine is ethylene diamine itself it having d itself it having di that's why we use the this here three times that that indicates a tris tris ethylene diamine tris ethylene diamine after the second type of uh, second type of prefixes so we enclosed the nomenclature of ligand in square bracket in square bracket this is the third rule about uh, ligand nomenclature this is the third rule about ligand nomenclature now the fourth rule is now the fourth rule if ligand have if ligand present at the bridge position if the ligand present at the bridge position that is nothing but uh, bridged complexes that is nothing but uh, bridged complexes like a uh, cobalt and h2 or oh and h2 cobalt uh, like this such type of complexes we use the prefix uh, like mu before write their name we use the prefix mu so nothing but uh, mu hydroxo mu amino NH2 minus means mu amido, not amino. Amine means ammonia. Am NH2 minus means amido, uh, that, which is nothing but amido. Like uh, this is the fourth rule. If bridge ligand is present, before write their name, we use the prefix uh, mu. We use the prefix uh, mu. This is the fourth type of ligand. Fourth type of ligand rule. fifth rule about ligand is if ligand name if ligand name ends with aid or aid or it or aid we use data if it is aid 
or eight or eight like a hydride ends with id so this type of you know, ligands ends with o iodo which is nothing but iodo ito eto iodo ito eto like a hydride hydrido sulfite sulfite sulfito sulfate sulfato so here ligand names ends with o ligand name ends with o whenever it it is a negative ligand whenever it is a negative ligand the nomenclature of ligand ends with o now the third rule now the third rule i think the first rule is coordinate first rule is cation anion second rule is coordination sphere third rule is ligand now the fourth rule fourth rule is the nomenclature of a central metal atom the nomenclature of a central metal atom so in central metal atom nomenclature we used two types of we used two types of sub subtitles like a sub points now the first one if complex having positive charge write their name as usual second point if complex having a negative charge the metal name ends with a eight the metal name ends with eight the metal name ends with eight in generally uh, in generally the complexes first two type of complexes metal if if atoms present a right side ionization sphere like cl3 cobalt nh3 six times right side ionization sphere that means coordination sphere carried by the positive charge coordination sphere carried by the positive charge if left side if atoms are groups are ions present at the left left ionization sphere then complex carried by the negative charge then complex carried by the negative charge so if complex having a positive charge or complex bred by the positive charge write their metal name is as usually write their metal name is as usually but in case of complex having the negative charge write their metal name ends with eight like iron is there ferrate iron is there ferrate or uh, or nickel is there nickelate palladium is there palladate arate like gold argentate plumbate etc the but third rule some of the metals we used the we used their latin names not their uh, uh, common names for example third one is third one some of the metals have used their latin names not the common names first one is for example if silver is present we did not uh, mentioned as a silver one ion or silver eight or uh, oh, etc so silver is there then it is called argentate if negative if charge ends with a negative then it is called argentate or argentum if gold is present or um, or r8 if if tin is present like a tin stannate lead is present plumbate if iron is present not iron eight it is a ferrate not iron eight it is ferrate etc some of the metals we use their latin names as as, as uh, in, instead of their common names instead of uh, their common names so this is the fourth rule now the fifth rule Now the fifth rule. After giving the nominal, after giving the name of coordination central metal atom, after giving the central metal atom name, we used their oxidation number in square bracket. We, we used we, or we mentioned their oxidation number in bracket. Their oxidation number in bracket. For example, cobalt NH three six times Cl three. 
according to our uh, first uh, first consideration it is a complex is cation a simple ion is anion that's why cation comes first that's why coordination sphere comes first and now here six type of uh, same ligand are present that's why it is called hexa hexa amine cobalt here complex ends with a positive charge that's why it is cobalt not cobaltate it is cobalt so now here the oxidation state we, we discussed earlier classes the oxidation state if you if you want the oxidation state calculation i'll give the link above so please uh, please go on the link and calculate and exercise the uh, quad oxidation state of complexes uh, now here oxidation state of cobalt is 3 now here n closed in bracket n closed in bracket it is chloride it is chloride this is the fifth rule. This is the fifth rule about uh, coordination IUPAC rules. Now, the sixth rule is in ionization sphere, any number of, like uh, any multiple number of uh, simple ions are present, we use the single name only. Like here, K4, FeCN six times. Here, Potassium present as four times. Potassium present as four times. That's why we did write it tetra potassium. Tetra potassium. It is not like that. So how many times present at the ionization sphere? We mentioned only one. We mentioned only one. We will find the number of cations with the help of oxidation state. With the help of oxidation state like potassium if one present one potassium is present then it is called potassium if two potassiums are present then it is also called the potassium if four times are present then it is also called as a potassium only not tetra di tri or such type of a potassium if in the sixth the second rule like uh, if ligand ends with a right side simple atom like uh, here halogen present three times that's why we called as a trihalide, trichloride. It's not correct. It's not correct. Just we used chloride. In the ionization sphere, we did not follow the ID, eight, ID ends with O. Here we follow the ID only. We follow the ID like chloride, not chloride. So here we follow just chloride, bromide, iodide. Seventh rule is the seventh rule is if complex uh, ha complex having the like similar type of positive or negative charges, then the nomenclature after the oxidation state it ends with ion. Just uh, keep the ion after the oxidation state in square bracket. Now the after the oxidation state in square bracket, we will write the ion. Just uh, simply cobalt NH three six times here plus three. That means uh, hexiamine cobalt 3 ion. Now the eighth rule is geometrical location. Geometrical location. So if a metal having two different type of ligands, so similar ligands present at adjacent side like uh, AA, BB. Similar ligands adjacent present, then it is prefixed as a cis. If similar ligands uh, present at opposite, then it prefixed as a trans. Then it prefixed as trans. By using the by using these eight rules, we can calculate the some of the problems in in the in this session. So it is very helpful to write the IUPAC nomenclature of any complexes. Now these are the examples. The first one is Ag NH3 taken twice Cl. Let us assume here it is hydrolyzed Ag NH3 taken twice plus plus a Cl minus. It is the cation. According to IUPAC rule, first rule, cations comes first followed by the anion. After the second rule, in coordination sphere, if metal and ligands are present, the ligand comes first uh, followed by the metal. So in the ligand, the next rule, so if ligand present as multiples, uh, we use the prefixes like di, tri, tetra, etc. Now here two times present, then it is called di, di amine, silver, their oxidation state is 1, we will calculate later, so chloride. So simply the oxidation state of uh, uh, oxidation state of the metal one metal, uh, silver is 1. Well, like x plus 2 into 0 is 
plus 1 into minus 1 is equal to 0, x minus 1 is equal to 0, then x is equal to plus 1. This is the oxidation state of the first one. Now, this second one is copper NH3 4 times SO4. So, generally, oxidation state is x, is x plus 4 into 0 plus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to plus 2, x is equal to plus 2. Now, the name, the nomenclature of compound like this. So, it, let us assume the similar way, it, the complex is cation SO4. Just I will give the simple trick. If simple ion present right, then complex having the positive charge. Then central metal atom nomenclature, central metal atom name as usually. So, if simple ion present left side, central metal atom name ends with 8, central metal atom name ends with 8, here right side that's why nomenclature as usual name, like a tetraamine copper 2 sulfate, so this is nothing but cupramonium salt, cupramonium salt, here 2 A's are present, tetra A and amine A, both are present, so now the, now the third example is, Now the third example is cobalt ethylene two times Cl2 here plus. Now if ethylene diamine having itself it is a prefix di. That's why we use the bis. So here chloro and ethylene chlor C first. That's why it is dichloro. Like a, it present two times. It is a compli complicated one. That's why it is used bis ethylene diamine ethylene diamine so it ends with positive charge that's why cobalt uh, 3 ion according to eighth rule it is ion now the fourth example is platinum nh3 br cl methyl amine methyl amine so in generally a amine b for bromo c for chloro methyl amine so according to iupac name as usually a b c m like uh, amine Bromo, chloro, methylamine, platinum. So it is a neutral complex. Oxidation state is a 2. Neutral one ends with as usual, not any ion. Now the fifth example is a platinum Cl4 minus 2. Here tetrachloro platinate. Here 8 ends with 8. Why, that, why? Because it uh, ends with a negative charge. Complex having the negative charge. Here ion. Here ion. By using the seventh rule. By using the seventh rule. Now, the next one. Sixth one is. I think it is a bridge complex. I will write the complex uh, clearly and and write the nom nomenclature. Now the sixth one is. Cobalt OH and H2 cobalt ammonia four times here ammonia four times. So these two are the bridge complex hydroxo amido. So H H and A A first followed by the hydroxo. So mu amido mu hydroxo. So these are similar type of ligands. That's why we will write the base. In, in bracket, this after the ligand name we enclose it in bracket tetraamine cobalt. So, your bridge complex, right like this, uh, the charge over there. Now, the seventh one is potassium COEDTA. Potassium COEDTA. And now, here potassium. So, EDTA means ethylene diamine, it presents only one time ethylene diamine tetraacetate. Cobalt here plus here negative so complex having the negative charge that's why here ends with cobalt eight cobalt eight uh, oxidation state three cobalt eight uh, oxidation state three eighth one is K two O S nitrogen C L five here nitrogen came from in generally nitrogen came from generally ammonia is N H three N H two minus it is amine it is amido we will discuss it previously. NH minus 2 means Mi, imido. N minus 3 means nitrido. Here N simply present N minus 3. Overall charge is minus 3 on nitrogen. Generally 2 into plus 1. 
plus x plus 1 into minus 3 plus 5 into minus 1 is equal to 0. 2 plus x minus 3 minus 5 is equal to 0. 2, 2 plus x minus 8 is equal to 0. x minus 6 which is nothing but x is equal to plus 6. The nomenclature of compound like this potassium like a nitrido as well as chloro pentachloro nitrido osmate 6 so the total overall name is a single word so i write uh, due to the some space not availability of some space now the ninth example is ninth example is So platinum pyridine four times, platinum Cl four times. So so be careful about it. Here both cation and anion present as a complex. Present as a complex. In this case, let us assume the, some of the possibilities. Uh, we finally, we conclude that what are the oxidation state in those complexes. In generally, platinum Py four times. Here plus one. Platinum Cl four times here minus one. So this is first assumption. Then it is x plus four into zero is equal to plus one. X plus four into minus one is equal is equal to minus one. X is equal to plus three here. X is equal to plus one. Now let us second assumption. Platinum pyridine four times here plus two. Platinum Cl four times minus two. Here x is equal to plus two. You are also calculate the like a speed manner. Watch the previous video. I I leave the link about link here. So calculation of oxidation state in ligand classification second part. Now x is equal to plus two. X is equal to plus two. Now the third one is platinum pyridine four times here plus three. Platinum Cl four here minus three. Then here x is equal to plus three. X is equal to plus one. In the fourth assumption, platinum pyridine minus plus four, platinum Cl four here minus four. Then x is equal to plus four, x is equal to zero. So these are the four possibilities: plus four, like a plus one, plus three, plus a two, plus a two, plus a three, plus a one. Fourth one plus four zero. Among these three, among these four possibilities, platinum generally observed like plus two and plus four, plus two and plus four are the common oxidation state. Plus two and plus four are the common oxidation state. In generally, first one it is not common for the first platinum or second platinum. These two are not observed. So that means these two are unstable oxidation numbers. In second one, both are the stable oxidation number. So both are stable. Here both are unstable. So the, th the third option also, both are plus 3 and plus 1. These two are also uh, unstable. Here plus 4 is stable, but 0 is unstable. Among these, these four assumptions, so the second one is correct. Here both metals carried by the plus 2 and plus 2 charge only. Plus 2 and plus 2 charges only. Now, let us let us calculate the next example like i think 10th th one so which is like the same manner i'll give this simple hint to calculate the 10th uh, example like a uh, chromium nh3 six times uh, cobalt uh, cl six times so just a minute No, so chromium NH3 six times, cobalt Cl six times. So generally chromium NH3 six times here plus one, cobalt Cl six times here minus one. So X is equal to plus one, X is equal to plus five. So let us assume that like here six oxidation state are like a six assumptions are there. X is equal to one and power five. X is equal to plus two and X is equal to plus four due to the complex having plus two and minus two charge. Now the third assumption is plus plus three and minus three. Then we will get X is equal to plus three and X is equal to I think a plus three. Fourth one is X is equal to plus four plus two. Fifth one is x is equal to plus five plus one. Sixth one is x is equal to 
plus 6 and x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. Among the following, chromium just generally exhibits a 2 and a 3. Cobalt also 2 and a 3. So, remaining all are unstable, unstable oxidation numbers. So, in first case, chromium cannot exist the plus 1 oxidation state. Cobalt cannot, uh, cobalt can also cannot exhibit the plus 5 oxidation state. In second one, chromium can eligible, but uh, cobalt cannot exhibit the plus 4 oxidation state. In third case, so both uh, both are plus 3 and plus 3 oxidation state, uh, both are stable one. So here it is the correct one. Now the fourth one, chromium cannot exhibit the plus 4, but cobalt can do it, uh, can exhibit the plus 2 oxidation state. This is the plus 5 and plus 1, both are incorrect here, plus 6 and 0 also incorrect. Now our option, now our third assumption is correct, both are carried by the plus 3 and plus 3 oxidation state. Now the final example is, now the final example is, which is based on, geometrical location so let us assume platinum nh3 nh3 cl cl here platinum nh3 nh3 cl and cl so according to eighth rule the similar type of ligands present at adjacent the prefix is cis here cis platinum two like a nomenclature like this so diamine dichloro Platinum 2. Now here, diamine dichloro platinum 2. Like a second one is, this is the first one, this is the second one, dichloro diamino platinum 2. So these two, these two are the geometrical location prefixes, them geometrical location prefixes. We, we know that, yes, this cis platinum, which is used in the anti-cancer chemotherapy. So, cis platinum, which is used in the anti cancer chemotherapy. So, these are the best and simple manner to, cal to write the IUPAC nomenclature about uh, coordination complexes. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe the channel.